from Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska, it's the Seminoles of Florida State taking on the Cornhuskers of the University of Nebraska. Larry Harris, Dennis McKinnon, and Michael Whiting are back in triple safety to receive the kickoff from, rather, from uh, Nebraska. And doing the kicking off will be number 49, Kevin Seibel. You see him there putting the ball up on the tee. The officials uh, are from the Big Eight primarily today. And the Cornhusker fans and Seminole fans here at Memorial Stadium are ready and set, and we're underway. There's Seibel's kickoff. This is a boomer deep in the end zone, and out of the end zone it goes. McKinnon just looks at it. First and 10 for the Seminoles. Stock still at quarterback, of course. In motion goes Phil Williams. The back's in the eye of formation. Stock still going to come out throwing. And the ball is intended out of the backfield for Ricky Williams. But it's second down, 10 yards to go. Whiting and Williams are the setbacks in the eye formation. Again, Stock still back to throw. Got some time. Now being rushed. He's got to get rid of it. He'll be taken down for a loss back at the 10-yard line. Loss of nine on the play. Third down to 19 from the 11. Stock still. All the time he wants. He goes out of the backfield to Whiting. Michael Whiting got some room. Michael Whiting up to the 25. He did not get the first down for the Nebraska Cornhuskers. And there is Stark's punt. It is a relatively short one. It'll bound at the 40-yard line. Heads toward the sideline now and rolls out of bounds at the Nebraska Cornhusker 37. For Jarvis Redwine, Andra Franklin is the up back in the eye. Redwine is the tailback, or what they call the eye back at Nebraska. One of the backs goes in motion, and here's Redwine with a pitch out, and Redwine gains about four up to the 41-yard line. Oh, it'll be second down, and they call it six yards to go to give us to Redwine. The eye back, he is stopped for almost no gain. Reggie Herring is in there. Okay. Third down and four. Again, the backs in the eye. You'll see that formation all day long by Nebraska. Ball at the 43. Back in motion for the Cornhuskers is McCready. Back to pass Quinn over the middle. It is complete to his big tight end. Quinn hits the tight end of Jeff Finn. So right, just underway here, I'm Tom Mees with Jim Crosby on Tallahassee's 27. Another exclusive telecast of Florida State football. Quinn can't make up his mind what to do with it, so he keeps it, and he gains about seven yards down to the Seminole 44. Tim McCready split to the bottom of your screen. He's one wide receiver along with John Noonan. So a couple of surprises there. Here's the pitch back to Redwine. He's tripped up. Nice play by Florida State's Andre Thompson. Is, or rather, Andre Franklin is still in there at the up back. Franklin is the blocker, and the give on the pitch back is to Johnson. It'll be close, but I believe he has achieved the first down. Anthony Steeles is split out wide to the right. Noonan is split out to the top left. The back's in the eye, and Quinn back to throw on first down. He goes for the eye back, Craig Johnson. And Johnson gathers it in for a gain of about five yards. Second down and five for the Cornhuskers at the Florida State 35. Quinn. Over the middle, almost intercepted. Intended for the tight end on that play. Intended for Jeff Finn. But more about that later. Third and five. Quinn, nobody back the block. He's being rushed now over the middle. Complete the Jarvis Redwine. Now, does he have the first down? It'll be very close. Depends where they mark the football. Well, the Cornhuskers are going for it. Fourth and a half yard at the Florida State 30. The real first crucial play of the ball game. Backs are in the eye. Franklin and Redwine. The pitch is to Jarvis. He fumbles the football. And Florida State tackles Redwine in the backfield and they recover the fumble so the first break of the game goes to the Seminoles all right let's see if the Seminoles can get a drive of their own going Rick Stockstill with the backs in the eye formation Williams goes in motion first and 10 from the 35 Stockstill being rushed and he's down on the safety blitz coming in there with Sammy Sims so it'll be second down and 21 a loss of 11 on the play back to the Seminole 24 yard line now here's a kind of reverse to Michael Whiting. That'll go nowhere. A loss back to the 18-yard line. It's now third and 28. <laughs> I don't envy Stockstill on this play. He's being rushed again, rolling to his right. Stockstill intended for Phil Williams, and Williams takes a hit. It was incomplete, way over his head. Dave Legal is number one. Is one of them, number 28. He's in uh, your screen to the left. Here's the punt from Stark. It is a high spiral. Legal being chased back to his 24-yard line. He does have some running room, though. Legal trying to turn the corner. He'll be knocked down right at the 25. Backing up. That's right. It it's is a clip. clip. Well, as Nebraska takes over first and 10 on their own 13, no score, 7.29 left in the first quarter. Here's the pitch back to Redwine. Again, he has trouble controlling, and Reggie Herring brings him down. After a two-yard gain, it'll be second down, eight yards to go. They give it a gain of two yards. Split out wide to the right, Tim McCready. Bobby Butler will be covering him man-on-man. 
Jeff Quinn rolling right, looking to throw, and he may tuck it away. No, he'll be bounced down at the 10-yard line by Reggie Herring, and he nailed Jeff Quinn. I'm glad I'm up here and not down there, I'll tell you that. Third down and 12 for Jeff Quinn and the Cornhuskers. Andra Franklin is in the backfield along with Redwine, and coming up the middle for no gain. Field position out of this one. Well, not that much pressure, really. Uh, the Seminoles stopped short of hitting the punter, and Henry has it at his own 47-yard line. Tries to retreat and get some running room, but he'll go down at the 45. The tackle is made by Joe Adams. The back's in the eye formation, first and 10. Bill Williams in motion. Here's the pitch out to Ricky Williams. Williams gains about three yards up to the 48-yard line. Well, Penn State tried that last week, and they did get around the outside sometime. However, Michael Whiting will get nowhere. As he's pushed back for about a two-yard loss. Third down, and will they call it 10 for Stockstill? A short drop, looking to throw now over the middle incomplete. Stockstill was pressured along with Ricky Lundquist. Stark's got plenty of time, a high spiral. And this will drive Legal back to the 13. He'll let it drop. The ball is inside the five. Can the Seminoles down it? They do at the two yard line. The ball is down at the two, or is it a touchback? It's a touchback. The 415 left to go in the first quarter. Nebraska has it first and 10 at their own 20. Jeff Quinn, the excellent quarterback. He's a senior out of Ord, Nebraska. The pitch back to Jarvis Redwine. Redwine trying to turn the corner, and he does for six yards. Running him out of bounds there. The only turnover in the game, a Redwine fumble, but the Seminoles could do nothing with it. They've done nothing on offense so far today. The pitch back to Redwine again, trying to turn the left side, and Florida State cannot contain him before he gets the first down. After the 33-yard line, Monk Bonasort had to run him out. First and 10 at the 33-yard line for Nebraska. Quinn straight back to throw on first down, rolling to his right now, and the ball is incomplete. A nice tackle that time for Florida State. Second down, 10 yards to go for Nebraska at the 32-yard line. Quinn wants to pass again over the middle, intended and completed to John Noonan. John Noonan is listed as a tight end. Right, first and 10 for Nebraska, 3.23 left to go in the first quarter of play. Jeff Quinn again with the backs in the eye. He wants to throw again, and it is complete to number 24, Tim McCready, and McCready is down to the Seminole 21-yard line. On first and 10 in Nebraska with their second threat of the ball game. First time down this low, they fumble the ball. Here's the give to Andre Franklin, and the back who does most of the blocking for Jarvis Redwine. The tight end is Jeff Finn, big number 87. It'll be th second down. They call it two to go now for Nebraska. Deep in Florida State territory, the pat pitch back to Redwine. Redwine inside the 10, down to the 8-yard line before Reggie Herring brings him down. First and goal, the Seminole 8-yard line. Andre Franklin and Redwine are the setbacks behind Quinn. Let's see what the Seminole defense can do here to stop the Cornhusker drive. Quinn straight back to throw, looking for the touchdown over the middle. Complete for the touchdown. He was totally wide open. I don't understand how he how he got that free unless the backs got crossed up. And you see the balloons going up. It looks like the start of a Florida State game with these. Line. There is virtually no win. The kick is up and the kick is good. So with 154 left in the first quarter, the score in Nebraska seven, Florida State nothing. So let's see what happens now. No win to speak of today. This one is a high spinner, and McKinnon will field it at about two yards deep in the end zone. He'll come out with it. McKinnon trying to go up the middle. He'll be knocked down at the 18-yard line. And now Williams goes in motion. Rick Stockstill, the quarterback, the pitch out goes to Harris. Harris wants to throw the ball downfield. He's got a man open. Oh, and Bill Williams was wide open. Well, that's the kind of play you need to sort of open up the game a little bit. All right, second down and 10. Stock still being pressured on the rollout to complete the Whiting. Whiting gets away from one man. Michael Whiting up near the 30-yard line. He's got the first down and the first first down of the game for the Seminoles. The backs are in the split formation behind Stock still. Ricky gives it off to Whiting. It's a running play, and Whiting loses control of the football for a moment, but regains it and gains nine yards near the first down marker. Second down and one for Florida State. The first concerted drive of the day for the Seminoles. The give on the second down call is to the up back Whiting. It will be very close to see if he gets the first down. And they stretch it out, and it's a little bit, little bit short. 
the big red crowd here and pouring their defense on. And now we have one of the Nebraska men jumping off sides, and Florida State's going to get it the easy way. He no sooner got his hands on the football as he was knocked over, and it's uh, their own 44-yard line. 25 seconds left in the first quarter, and Nebraska on top, 7-0. Hope you're enjoying the football game. Other than Nebraska lead, stock still complete. Complete over the middle to Hardis Johnson, and he's got a first down in Nebraska territory. At the and they do not. That's the end of the first quarter of play. The score from Lincoln, Nebraska is Nebraska 7, Florida State nothing. Stock still at quarterback. The pitch back to Ricky Williams out of the eye formation. Williams avoids two tacklers and gets back to the line of scrimmage. And you know what? That was a great run, though it's not quite as much as a yard. Call it second and 11 for the record. Stock still straight back to throw. Got some time. He's going to run with it now. Stock still over the 45, down to the 41-yard line. Artis Johnson, Phil Williams split to the bottom of your screen. They are wide. You can't see them. They're not in the picture right now. There goes Williams in motion. Stock still straight back to throw out of the backfield now to uh, Whiting, and he'll go nowhere but back to midfield. Nice play there by the Nebraska defense. See for the big red at the Nebraska 10-yard line. Stark gets it away, almost blocked. Lindquist is signaling fair catch, and he's down at the 12-yard line where Nebraska will take it. Nebraska has had the one drive, but that's been it. 7 nothing to score. First and 10 now from the 12. Quinn, the pitch back, and it goes to the eye back in the formation. And again, that eye formation so familiar to defenses who try and stop Nebraska. Quinn pitches out, and the pitch out is going to go for the first down. Going to go to number 33, Anthony Steeles. The first and 10 now, they mark it at the Cornhusker 24-yard line. Flanked wide to the left-hand side is Todd Brown. And back to throw is Quinn again on first down. Intercepted! Intercepted by Bonasort, I believe. Monk Bonasort has it in Nebraska territory at the 33-yard line. That is the fourth interception of the year against Jeff Quinn. I'll add it up right. It's on the 18-yard line. First and 10 from the 18. The crowd's coming alive trying to shake this Seminole offense. All right, first and 10 Seminoles. The ball on the Nebraska 18. The pitch out to Platt, who's in the game. Platt on the reverse to McKinney. Strong for a big loss. Back to the 29-yard line. And Jimmy Williams. It'll be second down and 20 now. And Stockstill's got to throw it. Here come the Huskers on the blitz. Stockstill is set for another loss. Back to the 38-yard line. They're down and 30. Another 10-yard loss on that play. Stockstill straight back to throw. He's got some time now. Looking at a sack to get Back at the 45-yard line. And I'll tell you, you can't have all day back there. Not a rush to speak of. He's going for the left corner. Let's see how successful Stark is. It's a pretty good-looking punt, and it is out of bounds. Where is it? On the two? Let's see where they mark it. Out of bounds on the Cornhusker three-yard line. Hold the game up while we are away. They marked that ball after the punt on the 20-yard line. They said it was a touchback. It's sort of a questionable call. So Nebraska has run two plays from their 20, and they have gained eight yards. It's third down and two at the 28-yard line. That's your situation. We apologize for missing the two plays, but the officials on the field would not stop when they were supposed to. So it is third down and two. The pitch out to Redwine being contained, and now he goes for a hole. Jarvis Redwine is open. Red line inside the 45. He fumbles the football, but they say he's down right there. At the Florida State 42-yard line. After that big run by Redwine. Quinn back to pass, looking for his tight end. Now it's his split end. That is McCready. McCready inside the 40 down to the 38-yard line. He is number 33, Anthony Steeles. He's a dangerous receiver. It'll be second down and six. Quinn with the ball. Now the pitch out to Redwine. Redwine is in the open field. Jarvis Redwine inside the 10-yard line. It, at the Florida State 14, the Huskers leading 7 to nothing. It's been a Nebraska defense, which has really been impressive, though. They give to Andre Franklin. Franklin, the up back in the eye, and he is stopped very abruptly by Arthur Scott and a host of other Seminoles. A pickup of two by Franklin on that last carry. It's second down and eight. Jeff Quinn rolling to his left, looking for the touchdown, and it is incomplete. Oh, I tell you, in and out of the hand of John Noonan, who is third down and eight. The ball is still marked at the Seminole 12-yard line. Big play here for the Florida State defense. As they try and stop Nebraska from adding on a second touchdown. Jeff Quinn, the pass again, the same route, touchdown! Touchdown to number 29, Todd Brown, his second touchdown catch of the day. 
Good end Todd Brown will make this touchdown reception and you'll notice how badly Nebraska has the Seminole defense right at this moment off balance. They've been able to get red line outside and they've been able to do a few things on short passes and that you can't get more open than that. Attempt the extra point now is Seibel. The kick is up and the kick is good with 6.30 left in the first half. The score, Nebraska 14, Florida State nothing. Nebraska lead. Kevin Seibel moving into the ball now. A high end over end kick and back to receive Sam Platt is at the goal line. Now he takes it at the six. Sam Platt got some running room and Platt is up over the 20 to the 27 yard line. So good operating room and a good run back. All right, first and 10 for Florida State on their own 28 yard line, says the scoreboard. Stock still on the give to the draw play. The draw play to Platt. And Sam Platt is up for good yardage. Up can gain a six on the play, second down and four. In motion goes Dennis McKinnon. The pitch out now to Sam Platt as he tries to turn the left end, and he does so successfully up to the 40-yard line. And 14 to nothing, Nebraska. Tom Mees in company with Jim Crosby at Memorial Stadium. And back to passes, Stockstill. He's got Hardis Johnson. It is no good. Incomplete. Good play that time by Johnson. True. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball at the 40. Again, Stock still back to throw. He's being rushed. He's got to get rid of it. It is complete over the middle of flat. A nice completion for near the first down, but not quite. Tom Bees with Jim Crosby back at Lincoln's Memorial Stadium, and as we return to live action, Sam Platt picking up the first down. Well, they're back. They're not out of it yet, anyway. By any means, only 14 nothing. Stock still rolling to his right now. He's going to keep it. He's got some running room. Stock still to the 40, and Stock still picks up the first down, I believe. First and 10 Seminoles at the Husker 38-yard line. Nice run by Stock still. Stock still over to Sam Platt, who's now in there at tailback, and Platt has stopped after a yard or two game. The clock running, 3.30 left to go in the first half, 14 nothing Nebraska. Stock still, no bones about it this time. He's going to throw, now he's under a rush, gets away from Sims, unloads it, complete, complete to Platt, and Platt is inside the 30, down to the 27-yard line, he's got another first down. Yeah, but the Seminole is trying to get on the board, first and 10. McKinnon is the man in motion. And Stock still again back to throw. Got some time over the middle. Complete the flat. He puts it away and he's down to the 20-yard line. Gain of seven on the play for so they can get it into the end zone for a score. Second down and three. And the give is to Platt out of the eye back formation. He may have another first down. I tell you, Michael Whiting and Sam Platt, the running backs. Stock still bakes the flat. Got some time. Looking for the touchdown on the end zone. It is incomplete. Intended for Hardis Johnson. Now to the top of the screen. Second and ten. And the give on the running play to Mike Whiting. He fumbles but falls back on top of it. I believe he's, he has it. Yes, he does. 14 to nothing to score. Third and eight. They got to get it down to about the seven. Stock still. Going long. Intended and incomplete. Intended for McKinnon in the end zone. It's a 32-yard attempt. Angle to the right. The snap is good, and the kick is up, and the kick is good. So with 54 seconds left in the first half, the score, Nebraska 14 and Florida State 3. We're set to go. So here comes Capiz into the ball. It's a high end over ender. It will go deep in the end zone, and Simmons drops it in the end zone. He'll have to down it, which he does. It's a touchback, first and 10 for Nebraska. Jeff Quinn, who directed the, the Cornhuskers to a 21-7 win last week at Penn State, still in their quarterback, and Quinn hands off to Redwine. Redwine gets good yardage, but I believe the Florida State defensive line is giving him that eight-yard run. All right, it'll be second out, two yards to go for the Nebraska Cornhuskers after that eight-yard pickup by Redwine. Nebraska called a timeout. Maybe Dr. Tom Osborne is going to put some more points on the board or try anyway. Here's Redwine with the ball. He's got the first down. 29 seconds now and running the clock here at Lincoln. And you keep thinking that uh, Nebraska's going to put it up, and Quinn wanted to, but then he says, uh-uh, I'm not going to turn it over, and he tucks it away. Yes, the clock running. Three, two, one. And that is the end of the first half of play from the Memorial Stadium in Lincoln, Nebraska. The score, Nebraska 14 and the Florida State Seminoles. Referee blows the whistle and we're second to, set to go with second half action here from Lincoln. Tom Mees with Jim Crosby. Hope you're enjoying it despite the deficit. And look at this, Capice's kickoff. Man who's done most of the damage for Nebraska. Todd Brown, the split end, is split out to the left side on first down. And Jeff Quinn hands off to Jarvis Redwine, who uh, falls forward for about three and a half yards. A gain of three for Redwine, who now has 93 yards in the day. It'll be second and seven. And Quinn will decide to keep it, will not pitch it out, and he has just short of the first down. Gain of about six yards, and he can really move some people around out there. 
Third down, one yard to go. The handoff to Redwine. He's got the first down over the 30 to the 32 yard line. Now let's see what happens. I know Florida State doesn't want to see him have the ball for 11 minutes. Quinn gives to Redwine, or this time Redwine is stopped on a good play inside. No gain on the play for Redwine. It'll be second down and 10. Man in motion. And we have a flag on the play. The pass is complete across the middle. It is complete to the tight end, Jeff Finn, to go. So a break in some measure, at least for Florida State, is coming into the ball game. So it's second down and 15. The back still in the eye formation. 14 to 3, the score if you're just tuning in on 27. Here's the pass out on the flat. It goes to Redwine, and Redwine is brought down for no gain. For a big play now, third down and 15. A passing down for Jeff Quinn. See if the Seminoles decide to blitz anybody. They do not. Quinn straight back to throw. Looking over the middle. Got a man open, but the man fell down. And that was John Noonan. This off from about the 17. Here comes the rush. It's a fumbled snap, and Florida State has it. The Seminoles, first and 10 at the Nebraska 17-yard line. Butler and Clayton were both there. Okay, first and 10 for the Seminoles. Stock still back to throw. Out of the backfield for Whiting. He's got it at the 20, to the 15, and down to the 12-yard line. A gain of five. It is second down and five for the Seminoles deep now in Husker territory. Nebraska almost offside. A long snap count. The pitch back to Sam Platt. Platt is down to the 10-yard line. Gain of two on the play. It'll be third down and about three. Let's see what happens. It's third and three. The fake to Platt. Back to pass. Stock still incomplete. Intended for Childers at the five-yard line. Bill Capice's field goal attempt. It'll be a 27-yarder. Angle to the right. The kick is up, and the kick is good. So with 10.49 left to go in the third quarter, the score now, Nebraska 14 and Florida State 6. Back to receive the kickoff, Ricky Simmons and Roger Craig for the Cornhuskers standing at the goal line. I'm Tom Mees with Jim Crosby, and this kick is out of the end zone, and Nebraska will have to let that one bound out of there. Notre Dame ahead of Michigan State in the fourth quarter. And that's six minutes left in that ball game. Okay, first and ten for Nebraska in their own 20. The pitch out to Redwine, and he gains no more than two yards. Reggie Herring coming up. Second down to nine. We'll go with the scoreboard. And they give us to the up back, Andre Franklin, and Franklin is belted down hard by the Seminole defense on a big third and six play. Jeff Quinn making the run. Quinn under pressure has to get it away. It is incomplete, or is it incomplete? Oh, what a catch! What a catch by number 29, Todd Brown. First and ten for the Cornhuskers. Big play for them. Gets it up to their 47-yard line. I apologize for calling it incomplete, but the angle there was deceiving. Here's the pitch out to Andre Franklin. He'll be dragged down for a loss back at the Nebraska 45. It'll be second down and 12, a loss of two on that last play. Quinn rolling to the right, wants to throw the ball. He does. It is intercepted by Keith Jones. Jones is inside Nebraska territory, and the Seminoles have a first down. So let's see what the Seminoles can do now. First and 10, the fake, the flat. Stock still rolling right, throwing complete to Zeke Mowat. Zeke Mowat down to the 40-yard line, a gain of seven, and it's second and three. In the third quarter, and now the interception. The pitch back to Sam Platt. Platt inside the 40. Platt stays on his feet. Down to the 37. He is near the first down. Well, you know the coaches say, if you can't pick up a half yard, don't deserve to win anyway on the ground. Pitch back goes to Sam Platt. He's got the first down and more. He is dragged down at the Nebraska 32-yard line. The ball is placed at the Nebraska 32-yard line. Let's see if the Seminoles can convert this interception by Jones into points. Here goes Stuckstill. Going to keep it. Rick Stuckstill inside the 25 to the 24-yard line. Stock still sets his team down. Rick Stock still gives down to Platt. Platt avoids a blocker. Sam Platt inside the 20, and he drives to the 17-yard line. But the ball is on the 17. 14 to 6 the score. Florida State trailing. Stock still rolling to his right. On the run, throws. First and goal at the five-yard line. Make it the four. Whiting and Platt are the setbacks. The pitch out to Sam Platt. Platt for the touchdown. Sam Platt for the touchdown, six yards, and the Seminoles are within two points of the Cornhuskers. How about that? Now let's see if Stockstill can push it in for the two. The crowd is roaring at Lincoln. Stockstill, back to throw, rolling to his left, does throw, it is incomplete. No good. So with 5.17 left to go in the third quarter, the score remains. Nebraska 14 and Florida State 12. We'll be right back. Touchdown run by Sam Platt. It's 14-12. That two-point conversion was attempted for Phil Williams. It was incomplete. 
and Nebraska will again have to take the ball first and 10 at the 20 and see what the Seminoles can do now to stop Nebraska. Quinn and company first and 10 at the Husker 20. The backs in the eye formation. And Quinn is throwing incomplete and almost intercepted. It was intended for the tight end, Jeff Finn. Both from short range. Quinn wants to throw again. Now decides to pitch out instead to Jarvis Redwine. He's got some room. Jarvis Redwine up to the 40, but we've got a penalty flag, and I believe we're going to have a clip against Nebraska. Now second and 10 from the 20 instead of first and 10. The Nebraska Cornhuskers are... Second and 10. Todd Brown, the only split receiver. He split far, and I mean far, out to the left. Jeff Quinn giving the ball to Jarvis Redwine. Redwine picks his spot up over the 25 to the 27. Redwine eluded the tackle of James Gilbert. Ball at the Cornhusker 27. Obviously, they have to get to the 30. A long count by Quinn. He fakes to Redwine, keeps it himself, and Quinn has got the first down up to the 34-yard line. A good fake that time by Jeff Quinn. Quinn the pitch out to Redwine this time, and Redwine is stopped almost at the line of scrimmage. Fumble, and Florida State has the football. Jarvis Redwine fumbles. Stark still giving the ball to Platt. He is going to be dragged down for a loss to the 39. And a big play. Artis Johnson split to the left. And Whiting, the only setback, he'll get the pass out of the backfield. Mike Whiting gets some good yardage down to the 36-yard line, but it's only a gain of three. Coach Bobby Bowden, third down and 13 yards to go for the Seminoles. They have it at the Cornhusker, 37. Stock still straight back to throw. Got the protection over the middle. Complete to Michael Whiting. Michael Whiting has the first down at the Cornhusker, 21. Eight at the Nebraska, 22. 14 to 12, Nebraska. They give to Whiting the up back in the eye formation, and he is brought down. Double split receivers now for Florida State. Bill Williams and Hardis Johnson. The fake to Platt out of the backfield. Stock still over the middle for Williams, incomplete. Williams wanted pass interference. The third down and six. Williams in motion. Stock still gets the snap. And a give on the reverse to Whiting. Whiting cuts back. No gain. In fact, he lost three yards. Nebraska was not fooled on that play. This is going to be a 40-yard attempt by Capiz. 30-yard line is where he'll kick it from. The snap is good. The kick is up. And the kick is good. Florida State has the lead with 116 left to go in the third quarter. The score, Florida State 15, Nebraska 14. This right will be Ricky Simmons in company with Anthony Steeles. Capiz kickoff carries Nebraska back into the end zone, and we're going to have a run back on this play, a run back. Up to about the 13-yard line. Now, hang on to the one-point lead as we have 112 left in the third quarter. Nebraska goes first and 10 from their 13-yard line. And now let's see if Jeff Quinn and company open it up. The pitch out to Jarvis Redwine. You know you got a key on him, and uh, Ron Simmons does just that. The Seminoles hoping for another one, hoping they can force it. Here goes Quinn. He wants to throw. It is incomplete, intended for McCready. It'll be third down and six yards to go for Nebraska. Big play for the Big Red, or the Cornhuskers, if you will. Simmons, the nose guard, starts to make a charge in there, and uh, the pass is dropped out to Redwine. He's at the 20, and that's as far as he'll go. Actually, the 19, when Bobby Butler brings him down, and that's the end of the third quarter of play. With the score, Florida State 15, Nebraska 14. We'll find out in 15 minutes. Jamar punts. It is a high spiral. Gary Henry calls for the fair catch. He has it and bobbles the football. Who's got it? Henry fumbles the football. It is loose. Bonasort lands on it for Florida State. Now the question is, did FSU have it or Nebraska? They say Nebraska at the Florida State 48-yard line. First and 10, Nebraska, the Seminole 49-yard line. Henry did fumble it, but I don't think he fumbled it away to Nebraska. However, the Cornhuskers do have it. The second down and seven yards to go. Quinn back to pass. The Seminole defense coming to him. Quinn puts it up. It's way overthrown for the receiver. Butler makes the catch, but he's out of bounds. So it will go as an incompletion. Franklin and Redwine in the backfield. Over the middle, complete. Complete and incomplete. All right, dropping that football was Craig Johnson. Florida State, 46-yard line, going to try for the coffin corner. It's a high spiral. This thing's going to go way into the end zone. He kicks it out of the end zone on the fly. So Florida State with 14 minutes and one second left. Dern Jayhawks and <laughs> Dern Sooners. That's almost like the Florida Gators uh, in Tallahassee. All right, first and 10 for the Seminoles to give us to Platt. And a running play, and he's dumped for a two-yard loss. The Seminoles lead it 15 to 14 over the Cornhuskers in Lincoln, but we have 13 minutes to play. Second down and 12. Over the middle, complete and incomplete to Sam Platt. He dropped it at the 20-yard line. That's no lead at all. You got to go the, with the way that you've got, gotten into the lead. 
And that is throwing the football. And here's Stockstill doing just that. He has the time. Now he is hit and down at the six-yard line. The ball came loose, but Stockstill still has it. Get down there and cover this punt quick. Rick Lindquist is back to cover this punt or receive it. Lindquist is down there at the 35-yard line along with Dave Legal, and Legal is going to be hemmed in and dropped at the 34-yard line. First and 10 for the Cornhuskers. Anthony Steele's in there with Todd Brown. It's first and 10 for the Huskers on their own 34 after that 60-yard odd punt by Ron Stark. Jeff Quinn, the quarterback, will pitch out. And almost no gain for number 30, Craig Johnson. Paul Porowski nailed him. And the clock running, 11.50 left in the game. The Seminoles with that precious one-point lead. Andre Franklin is the running back along with Craig, and Craig is stood up by Porowski after about a three-yard game. Make that Craig Johnson. They're down and six now. Huskers need to get up to the 44-yard line of Florida State for a first down. Rather, the 44 of, their, of Nebraska. We have flags in the Nebraska backfield. The pass is incomplete. Intended for Craig Johnson was thrown behind him in the Nebraska backfield. It is illegal motion, not holding. Henry in single safety. Scott Gamari gets it away. It's a high spiral. Henry will have to go back to his nine, make that the eight-yard line. Gary Henry is tackled up at the 14-yard line. So with 10.46 left to go in the fourth quarter, the first down, Florida State hit a pass to Phil Williams up to the 25-yard line. And uh, the second down play was to Sam Platt, and that got up to the 29. We apologize for missing those two plays, but... And here's Tom. All right, second down and six for the Seminoles. Ball on the 29-yard line. Williams in motion. The pitch out to Platt. Platt can go nowhere. It'll be no gain. Wrapped up. Channel 27 in Tallahassee. I'm Tom Bees with Jim Crosby on the third and six. Stock still back to throw. Got plenty of time. Gets rid of it over the middle. Incomplete. Intended for Whiting. 20. It's a perfect snap. Here comes the pressure. The punt is off. They do not rough him. And Legal will take it in at about the 25. He's being hemmed in, and he'll go down at the 26-yard line. Jeff Quinn and the Huskers have it at their own 26-yard line. Quinn hesitating, now pitching out to Jarvis Redwine. Redwine over the 30. Redwine is out of bounds at the 33-yard line. And it's a first and 10 Huskers at their own 37. Making a pickup of 13 on the play. Jarvis Redwine over the 100-yard mark again. Andre Franklin on the first down, and Paul Porowski. I hate to see Simmons out of the lineup. Second down and seven. Franklin and Redwine. The back's in the eye formation, but no running here. Quinn back to throw over the middle. It is complete to the tight end. Jeff Finn for the first down in Seminole territory at the 47. Ball in Florida State territory at the 47. Clock running, 8.20 left in the game. Seminoles by one. Quinn to the air again. No, the pitch out to Redwine. Seminoles have it contained, though, and Jarvis Redwine brought down for a loss. A loss of two on the play. It'll be second down and 12. Jim Cotera in there now, replacing Andre Franklin in the eye backfield. The pitch out again is to uh, Craig Johnson. Johnson came in for Redwine that time. All right, third and five. Craig Johnson is still in there with Cotera in the backfield. Anthony Steeles is in the slot now, and Johnson goes in motion. Quinn yeah. holding to his right, and he's going to be blitzed and brought down for a huge loss at the 49-yard line, making the tackle Arthur Scott. Let's see what Gamar's punt does this time. It is a wobbly one. It will be short, and Henry is going to let it bounce. It goes into the end zone, so the Seminoles get a break. First and 10 for the Seminoles at the 20-yard line. Stock still rolling right, looking to throw. He does throw complete. It's a nice safe pass out of bounds at the 25 yard line. Second down and five. Pick up a five on the pass to Moat. The give now is to Sam Platt. Platt avoids a couple of tacklers. Hard running up to the 28 yard line. Nice run by Sam Platt. The give is to no one. Stock still rolling to run his it. left. He's going to tuck it. it away and he's got the first down. He, he listened to you, Jim. <laughs> Stock still ran it. Right, first and 10 Seminoles in the 31. The give on the running play is to Platt, but they smell that one out. Platt hangs on. He'll be thrown for a loss by Derry Nelson. Here's the give to Platt out of the backfield. Seminoles content to run the ball and Platt has been at the line of scrimmage again. See what he does. Stock still rolling right. He's looking for a receiver, pumping down the field long. He is going for Williams. Complete! Bill Williams has it! First and 10 at the Nebraska 32-yard line. First and 10 at the Cornhusker 32-yard line. The pitch out to Sam Platt. Platt up the middle inside the 30-yard line to the 29-yard line. All right, Stock still has him down at the 29. The gives to Platt. He's got some room. Sam Platt inside the 25 to the 24 and gives Sam a lot of credit for hanging on. 
Here's the pitch out to Platt. Platt cuts back. He is close, but he does not have the first down. He does not have the first down. 41-yard attempt. Angle to the right. Capiz trying for his fourth field goal. He's into it. The ball is long enough, and the kick is good. So at 2.37 left in the game, the Florida State Seminoles, 18. Nebraska, 14. We'll be back in a moment. Back to receive Anthony Steeles and Ricky Simmons. And don't count the big red of Nebraska out of this one. When you got a Jarvis Redwine, you're always in the game. All right, back in the end zone. Simmons lets it bounce out of the end zone. So they're 80 yards away are the Nebraska Cornhuskers. First and 10, the fake to Redwine. Quinn straight back to throw now over the middle. Almost intercepted. Incomplete. We're going to have pass interference. Pass interference. They call it on Monk Bonasort, who is... It was a marginal call. Could have gone either way, depending upon uh, which way the referee saw it. He saw it as pass interference. So we're first and 10, Nebraska at the 35. Quinn straight back to throw again over the middle. It is incomplete, intended for the tight end, Finn. And that time, second down and 10. Andre Franklin and Redwine in the backfield. Quinn wants to pass complete to Todd Brown, the split end, but not too big a gain, only for seven yards up to the 42. The Cornhuskers at their own 43. The Seminoles lead by four. The pitch out to Redwine. He's got some room. Redwine has the first down at the Florida State 49 before Keith Jones and Monk Bonasort combine to bring him down. Seminoles have two left. 148 to go. The clock running. Quinn over the middle. It is complete. We have penalty flags down in the defensive backfield. The pass is complete to Anthony Steele's. Going to signal pass interference against the Florida State Seminoles. And Bobby Bowden is incensed at the Florida State 42. Let's hold them Seminoles. Franklin and Redwine are the eye backs behind Quinn. Quinn fakes the handoff. Looking over the middle. And it is incomplete. Intended for McCready. And McCready was wide open in the seam of the zone defense. James Gilbert limps out of the lineup. Mark Machik, who came out earlier, is back in to replace James Gilbert. Second down and 10. Quinn to throw. Got some pressure over the middle. It is complete to the tight end, Finn. He may have the first down. Bonasor tried to hold him up. Is it or is it not? It is not a first down. Inches short. Inches short. Todd Brown and Anthony Steeles are the wide receivers. Third and very short. Just about the length, half a length of a football. The pitch out to Jarvis Redwine. He's got the first down. And the Seminoles hold him up after about a two-yard gain. Down comes the referee. It was he throw. says, holding Nebraska. Well, it doesn't look like he's going to see any more action today as he's being helped off the field by two trainers. Jarvis Redwine, who is over the 100-yard mark and then some again today. So you got to stop him in two downs, really. The ball is at the Seminole 44. Big penalty. Andre Franklin, the only setback behind Quinn. He's going to throw. Here comes the pressure. Quinn rolling to his right. He fumbles the football. Let's see what happens. No, they say he was going forward. It's an incomplete pass. It's Arthur Scott getting him. Fletch actually hit him as his arm was forward. Back to live action, fourth and 12. This could be the ball game. They've got to get down to the Seminole 32-yard line for a first down. Quinn straight back to throw. Here comes the rush. He does throw. It is complete. Down to the 21, a first down for Nebraska. The call is complete to John Noonan. Seminole 21, a field goal does Nebraska no good. The Seminoles lead it by four. Quinn rolling to his left, looking for a receiver. He's going to keep it, and Quinn is hit hard by Herring at the 17-yard line, and the clock continues to run. Second down and five. Nebraska at the Seminole 16-yard line. Down at the 16, not the 21, as I had called it. Quinn looking to throw, pumping, now faking. Quinn pitches out to Nebraska's high back. Florida, Florida State's got the football. Let's see who's got it. I believe Florida State has it. Let's wait and see for the official. Is it Florida State or Nebraska? Oh, they're going to give it to Nebraska. No. Todd Brown is the split end of the top of the screen. Quinn asking the home crowd for quiet, and he gets it now, obviously. Roger Quaig now in a slot position. First and goal at the three. Quinn rolling left, looking into the end zone. It is complete, but down to the two. And down to, No, incomplete. They call it incomplete. All right. Important thing, no timeouts, remember, for Nebraska. Ball still on the three. Quinn rolling to the left. He's got the time. He's now under a rush. Porowski's got a fumble. Fumble. Florida State's going to win this football game. They've got the ball. Florida State. And then they're going, wow. The Seminoles, stock still lays down. Nebraska has no timeouts. The clock running down. Five, four, three, two, one. The game is over. And the Seminoles have won the biggest football victory in Florida State history. Look at Ricky stock still. He's got the ball. And here comes Childers over, and the Seminoles are mobbing him. The final score from Lincoln, Nebraska, is Florida State 18.
The Cornhuskers of Nebraska 14 will be back in a moment. 